What is going on guys? My name is Triple and today we are going to be breaking down every aspect of playing in first person versus third person in Star Wars Battlefront 2. First and foremost, this video was recommended to me by a YouTube user of the name of Sliced Bread. Shout out to him and if you have your own video idea, be sure to leave it in the comment section below and I'll make sure I consider it. With that said, if you have recently been struggling to figure out which perspective is best for your game style in Star Wars Battlefront 2, then this is the video for you. Let's get into this. Just in case we got any delicious noobs out there and still don't know, the way in which you switch from first to third person and vice versa is by holding down on the D-pad in game for a few moments. So the way this is going to go down is I'm going to discuss three categories and break down every attribute for both perspectives. So let's start with our first category, stability. Starting with first person, playing in this perspective as you can see by the gameplay makes your screen shake slightly. This benefits those seeking immersion and so if this is what you are after then this will not disappoint. However, this does make aiming slightly more difficult as the shakiness, aware of it or not, serves as a minor distraction. Any distraction, no matter how minimal it is, causes your aim to suffer. Conversely, the third person perspective eliminates this shakiness feature, allowing you to focus entirely on your aim, ultimately giving you an edge over your opponents whom are using first person. As you can see by the gameplay, my screen is entirely stagnant even when I am sprinting and turning. This results in an easier time aiming, which allows you to compete at a higher level. For this reason, if you are playing the game casually and for the sake of immersion, I'd recommend playing in first person as it is a pretty neat experience for the sake of enjoyment. However, if you are trying to be as accurate and stay as focused as you possibly can, then I'd recommend playing in third person as this view grants aim assist by stabilizing your screen. Category number two is visibility. To demonstrate the difference in visibility of the two perspectives, I'm going to be standing still and then switching between the two. As you can see, the first person perspective decreases your visibility, which, just like stability, benefits immersion but causes your ability to perform at your best to suffer. Being able to see more around your player allows you to be better aware of your surroundings, thus once again giving you an edge over your opponents. This extended view of your surroundings also grants access to benefits such as corner peeking. In first person, if you want to look anywhere, you have to expose your body to do so. In third person, you can look around corners without showing your body to your opponents. This is obviously very useful as it allows you to check corners without revealing yourself or getting shot at. This tactic can also be used to time when you are going to jump out at someone with a shotgun or poke your sniper out for a quick shot. For this reason, if you are trying to achieve a realistic experience, then first person would be your way to go. However, if you are trying to compete at the highest level possible, third person once more takes the cake. Our third and final category is weapon zooming. Many people don't know this, but certain weapons when used in first person will grant you a full force scope while zooming in. These same weapons, however, when used in third person will still grant extended range, however it will not put the player in a first person scope. You might be thinking initially that a first person scope would be easier to aim with and therefore more beneficial, however this is simply not the case. Utilizing a first person scope, while it does make the game more realistic, is once again the worst option for a player trying to compete at their highest level. This is due to the fact that zooming in while in third person allows you to see your surroundings simultaneously, while in first person these same surroundings are blocked by a black fade. It's because of this that yet again if a player is seeking maximum performance they should choose third person. However, if an individual is seeking a more realistic feel, the first person viewing would be the correct choice. So in conclusion, the first person perspective is great for players seeking maximum immersion and are casually playing solely for the experience. Third person, on the other hand, is the better option for an individual with competitive intentions, as this perspective grants maximum visibility and superior stability. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe as I have a lot of Star Wars content on the way, and with that said, this has been Triple, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.